Next, I'm going to show you how to get search engine volume data into your uh, sets of keywords in the data grid inside of the Suggest Keywords tool and the Related Keywords tool. So to do this is very simple. All you have to do is click on the search volume button here and it'll bring up this little window. So I do want to say that um, Keyword Atlas does not have the ability to go out and grab search engine volume data because you have to pay for that. And so I would have had to been forced to charge monthly in order to use the software to do that and it would have been quite pricey. But there are um, places on the internet you can get search volume for free. So that's what I've integrated into here. And it's just a little bit of a manual process, but I made it super simple and I'll show you how to do it right here. So you'll always have free access to keyword search volume data forever. So this is awesome. So you have two options to get free uh, search volume. You can get it from searchvolume.io by a company called Storybase, or of course you can get it from the Google Keyword Planner, which is free. So first let's start with the story base and they allow you to paste into up to 800 words at a time. So this little tool over here, you can select how many words you want per set. Let's do 800 because that's the max they will accept. And Keyword Atlas, this little tool automatically take all their keywords, there's 1148 of them and put them into two sets for us. Now, if we select this open browser when clicking the copy button, because this will copy that set of keywords to our clipboard, if you click that, then as you click the button, it will also bring you to Storybase, or if you have it select as Google, it will take you to Google. So let's go ahead and do Storybase and just click copy. So it's gonna copy that set of keywords and also at the same time, open my web browser to where we need to paste in the keywords. And here we go. All we have to do is right click and paste. And you can see 800 keywords are put in there. Click submit and it provides us with an export file. We click export and we wanna save that to our computer. Now, you'd wanna save it somewhere where you can easily get access to it. So if you're, if you're saving it somewhere um, strange on your computer, like your desktop or somewhere else, and you wanna to get to where the software resides, here's one little cool thing you can do. In here I have this button, it says open working folder. If you click that, it opens up your default explorer at the exact location you were working with the software, like what was the last folder you're working in. If it's the D, if it's the install folder, it'll be right here. One thing I like doing, I actually like creating a new folder, and I'm just gonna call this search volume, just so I can keep it separate. So I'm just gonna click in there, and this is where I wanna save that file. So one way to do this is, in, in Windows, you can just click right in here, and, in, and then you can right click and, and copy that path. Now let's move that out of the way. Let's go back to the browser where we had to save that export file and do the same up here, go up here and then right click and paste that location in and hit your enter key. Now we've gone to the exact location where we want and that search volume uh, folder we just created. I'm gonna save it in there. Cool, now let's go to the next set. Click, like, click copy like that. Again, right click and paste. Whoop, let's copy that one, there we go paste, there we go, 347 keywords, click submit, export, and we got the second export file. And now we already have this window open here, and here's the two files that we just got. All you have to do is just grab them and drag them right into here, and boom, the search volume is now in the grid. Another way of doing it, you can also just drag the files right onto the grid and it'll automatically go in there. And another way to do it is you can just click this big arrow and go to where the files are, select them and click open and it'll also put them in. So there's three ways to get the monthly search in there. So that's one way to do it, is by using the um, search volume.io. Let's do it using Google. So let's do this again, click search volume. This time I'm gonna select 2500 for set and I'm gonna select Google and I'm going to click here and it will take me over to Google. I'll put my software to the side a bit there and it'll take me right to the spot where I need to enter the keyword. So I need to go to the get search volume and forecast. Now I do wanna mention something here. In order to get access to this free tool, you're gonna to have to sign up for a Google AdWords account. And I signed up for my account probably like 15 years ago, maybe even longer, so I obviously I don't recall how I did it. But I did a quick search online, how to get access to the keyword planner. And I searched for how to get the Google keyword planner and 
there's a, an amazing article right here by onbacklinko.com and in here this guy describes how to do it and there might be a few points in here that a little bit out of date but actually if you go down and look at the comments I noticed someone here explained how you can actually uh, get access to the keyword planner without creating a campaign before you had to create a campaign but not run any ads to get access to it but there's a lot of information on here so if you get a little bit stuck and need some guidance I would suggest reading through that and you'll get access to the keyword planner but I got access to it so all I gotta do is just click here and right here all I have to do is right click and paste because remember we clicked that copy button there and sometimes in here we go get started sometimes you'll encounter a few keywords that might have some sort of character in there that doesn't belong just click remove and keep going and it will work on creating the report and then in this window you'll see up here right beside create campaign click there and download the plan historical metrics so you download that and we'll put it in the same folder and again we still have that open and we'll just drop that right in and you see this one says keyword stats and the software will automatically have the important data monthly searches cost per click and competition that we get from Google and so that's how you quickly import your um, search volume and the exact same thing works with with this one as well so if we do the same thing let's just stick a few keywords over there and the same thing works just grab a couple keywords there we go so here if you want to get search volume exact same way go straight on over to go Google I find it a little bit faster using the search volume.io than it is Google, but Google does provide a little bit more data. So, and there we go. We got our search volumes and competition in here. So that's how you get search volume data into Keyword Atlas for your keyword reports. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.